And now let's get into the code sharing and how to do it. So the whole idea is that we want to have a monorepo project that will have like all our pipes, services, and directives, and then we'll have a, our components and which would uh, share the, the TS class code, but then would have separate web and native scape HTML files. And then also we could share a lot of the modules and you know the components that they have, the navigation they have, but we'll probably have two separate ng modules files one for web one for native script and then we'll need some sort of a build process that either takes you know shared and web files to generate a, a web angular app or the shared files and the native script files and then generate a native script app uh, so how do we do that well again we can come back to our schematic to generate a brand new shared project uh, and then this will give us a project in a format that we kind of expect and which will allow us to do something like ng-surf and then this we use angular cli to build a web app for us or we could call uh, tns run ios bundle or android dash dash bundle uh, and then this will first run through webpack so webpack will go and pick up all the shared files and uh, the native script specific ones and then in memory recreate like a native script uh, project structure and then uh, as a next step you will use native script build uh, to actually build the application for us uh, which is pretty cool and also the way we do code sharing uh, basically if you have a component uh, let's say called name component would then have two separate html files so one will be name.component.html the other one will be uh, the same name with .tns or you could probably even change this extension if you really want to uh, and if we want to for example add CSS uh, we could have again uh, two separate files but then the native script one will have .tns .sas or dot or CSS and the final bit I want to talk to you about is project migration with schematics so this is about taking a scenario where you started with a web only approach or mobile only and you want to go into uh, a code sharing structure so we have a bunch of schematics that actually help you do that so if you have a, a web project you can call ng new my app and then you can call ng at at native script slash schematics uh, and then this will take your pro web project and then convert it into a code sharing one uh, then you could call ng serve or tns run ios or android dash dash bundle and then either get a web or a mobile application. Um, you could also look at a scenario where you have an existing native script application, and then you could call something like ngg add web. Uh, this schematic is uh, still in progress, it's not yet complete, uh, but it will be soon. Uh, but the, the idea remains the same. After you run it, you should be able to call either ng serve or tns run ios or android dash dash bundle and you should get a web or a mobile application out of it so this first step it basically just converts the structure of your project but it doesn't help you migrate your uh, modules or components just yet uh, so for that we have a separate set of schematics so if you have a uh, example like a home component over here that is web only you could run something like ngg migrate component give uh, and then Call, give it its name as a parameter and then the schematic will take it and then convert it into a code sharing structure uh, also if you have a, a module that has multiple components uh, you could run something like ng g migrate module give it a name it, uh, and then this will take and migrate each of your components first and then you will migrate uh, the remaining bits of, of, of your module um, so the whole idea is that to do the migration, we're looking at three commands. So you can call ng add, add native scripts slash schematics, and that will take and then convert your existing web projects into native script projects. The caveat is uh, you should be on Angular 6 and then using uh, Angular CLI 6.1. Uh, and then you could use ngg migrate component and migrate module uh, to help you with the migration of those uh, individual modules and components.